Let's talk about thriving through change. And I've been fortunate to speak for a lot of businesses and organizations. And you know what? It is the one universal thing I hear from every single business or organization that brings me in to speak is, you know what, Scott? We're going through a lot of change right now and some of our people are kind of struggling to deal with it. And, and I say, yeah, I'd have kind of heard that one before, but it's a very common thing. And especially in this day and age where so many things in technology and everything else are changing so fast, the fact of the matter is change is just not going anywhere. So we have to equip people with strategies to be able to manage and to be able to thrive through that change. So let me give you some ways to do that. And the first thing before I go into the three different strategies is that studies have actually shown that it is hardwired into our biology for us to be fearful of change. Like we perceive change as threatening, going all the way back to our earliest days where if something was changing in the environment, we thought it was threatening to us. Like it was literally threatening to our existence. And you look at the changes that are going on now, whether it's, you know what, you had restructuring on the team or you have different policies or procedures or systems that need to be followed or you have a different boss or, you know, just, compensation plan change. Do you look at things that happen now? They're not threatening to our existence necessarily, but it's important that we understand that we will actually interpret that as threatening. And it's an innate response for us to do that. We all do it to some degree. Some of us have have better, I guess, change tolerance than others, but all of us experience it the same way. And it's just important to know that right off the bat is to look that we will look at change as threatening. We will look at it as fearful. We will look at it as negative and we have to know how we are going to respond to that. So three ways that you can do it. One is to actually lean into and actually embrace the change. And I sometimes lump change and challenge into kind of the same boat. And I, I've studied high achievers all my life in athletics and then in business. And one of the other groups I've also studied are Navy SEALs. And I've always been fascinated on how the SEALs condition not only the body, but also how they condition the mind. And it's very interesting the way that they look at change and the way that they look at challenge is, you know what, it's not that any outperforming person ever wakes up and they're like, whoa, I, I, I hope everything changes for me today. Like, I can't wait to see how much change I have. Like, no one thinks like that. But the fact of the matter is that if you look at a group like the Navy SEALs, is they just say, you know what? I, I don't necessarily want things to change, but if they do change, I'm going to lean into it. I'm going to meet that challenge head on and I'm going to embrace it because I know that I can get through it. Like I know that I have the in intestinal fortitude and I have the wherewithal to be able to push through it and to be able to get past it. So instead of kind of saying, well, shying away from it and being hesitant saying, well, I hope nothing changes today. Instead, you meet that head on. And if something does happen, it's just a mindset that you take going into it and you say, you know what, bring it on. Like I've got this if it does happen. That's the first part. Second part is to actually rally with other people around you. Now, as I'm creating this video, we're in the heart of football season right now. I'm a big football fan, but you look at any team in the NFL, the teams that end up going deep in the playoffs or go to the Super Bowl and the teams that are successful year in and year out, there is not a team in the NFL that will be intact at the end of the season from what they were at the start of the season. They'll have people that will go down to injuries. They'll have people that might get cut or people that get benched or, you know, what different coaches are brought in. They will have, or just restructuring on, on kind of the roles within the team, but it will never be the same from start to finish. It will always look different. And the bottom line is, you know what, the teams that are successful are the ones that in the locker room, they say, you know what? Not necessarily psyched about this player going down to an injury, running back, quarterback, wide receiver, defensive player, whoever it might be. But we all need to rally together as a team and we need to find a way that we can move forward to still be able to get what we want. That's what outperformers do. And I, I've been there before. Trust me. I know how easy it is to get together sometimes with other people and to just talk about, you know what? how bad this sucks, for lack of a better term, like how much you don't want this new thing or this new change or whatever is going on. But after you get that all out there on the table, after you air out all that dirty laundry, then you have to rally with those people in the locker room and you have to say, you know what, how can we still get what we want? 
that's what outperformers do. And it's powerful to be able to do that with other people. So that's the second thing. Third thing is to keep your eye on the big picture. Really see that big picture because one of the other reasons that we don't like change is it throws off our routines and it throws us off our habits. And we're creatures of habit. Like we like things that are common. We like things that are known. And anytime a change happens, it just requires more energy, physically, mentally, and typically more time too, because we have to get used to these new things that are going on that are just different from what they once were. So what you need to do is keep your eye on the big picture, not necessarily what you're going through right now, but if a change has happened for better, or for worse, chances are there's probably better times on the other side if you can just get through this period of initial discomfort. You know, where it's a little bit different because eventually if you get through this initial part of discomfort and you kind of meet that head on, like I talked about before, eventually this new change is going to feel as common and is going to feel as habitual as what you were doing before. So keep your eye on the big picture. So again, those three things to really help you thrive through change, lean in, embrace that challenge, embrace that change, and meet it head on. Rally with the other people in your figurative locker room and think about how you can still be able to get what you want despite whatever change might have happened. And then keep your eye on the big picture and what's coming later on and not necessarily the discomfort and what's happening right now. You do those three things, I promise you, you're going to thrive through change, and I guarantee you're going to outperform the norm. Have a great day.